Hear the birds? So alrighty then. Yep, Jordy bought another saw. These are the cheapest still saws. They're the 170s, okay? Um, hey, bird, can you be quiet? Uh, <laughs> these, uh, I just got this on sale for 210 Canadian dollars. It's a still. First of all, here's a shout out to Stevie Kanzora. Let's get rid of this piece of crap. Guards, you just get rid of those things. Um, so, this has, uh, what is it? Um, this is how you tell your bars for the beginners. It's 3 8 okay? So whatever, yeah, it's a 3 8 bar. Okay, sorry guys, here's a still picture. So see where my finger is? That's a 3 8 pitch chain, okay? The bar's not 3 8 it's a 3 8 pitch chain. The size of the bar underneath the 3005 on the left is a 16 inch bar with a 3 8 pitch chain. So that means the sprocket inside the saw is a 3 8 it's very simple to convert these uh, 170s over and the sprockets aren't very much for to make it quarter pitch. So you need a quarter pitch sprocket, quarter pitch bar, and a quarter pitch chain. for the Because most carving bars, smaller carving bars, are the quarter pitch things. Hope this helps. I'm in the bath. Gotta go. Um, it's too loose. So, but I just needed to have a small saw because I was using my good 201 to go to the beach and stuff. I'm just going to use this for a little small blocking saw and uh, so I can take it to the beach, sand will get in it. I don't care if it gets wrecked. Well, I do, but you know what I mean? So, you guys, if you're going to start beginning uh, chainsaw carving and you want to get your power saw, I'd get the 170. You know, it comes, um, just carve Rob's doing some chainsaw carving too. He just got one of these saws. And uh, yeah, so let's just, uh, with this owl here, I just, um, like, I want to take my time. I got my owl book ready to go. It's going to be a great horn, probably carving fusion owl. The great horn, the great horn owl's back. You see, yeah, like that. But it's going to be carving fusion, okay? Because I can't make it like it is. But with this piece here, I'm going to, I'm going to struggle with the back because it's going to be hard to get the saw in here for the wings. And you still got some rot rot in here and I got to clean up all down here then I got a texture the side the side of the trees you know so it's gonna be real tricky work to do so I just don't know I thought maybe I'll just cut those trees off sorry I thought maybe I'll just cut those trees off on a slant clean everything up then screw them back on but I don't know I guess I'll just start. I'm going to work on the back stuff here. Get the worst stuff out of the way right now. Because if I carve this face on the owl, it turns out great. And the wings turn out great and everything. And the talons. Then I'll be like, oh. Then I'll put it I'll leave, put it aside and I'll never finish it. Because working on this back stuff inside here is going to be so shitty to do. So anyways... Okay, so well, obviously I'm not a realism carver, so. I'm just having fun trying to make it look like an owl. Um, I really struggle with the tail. Well, cause I haven't really done any before. So you can see it down there. It's kind of connected to the body. I did a huge mistake, but I don't think somebody's gonna notice when they're buying this, like, I cut big talons in there just to make sure they're there for now. But you'll see like I just took way too much of his underbody. See like he's got half a body sitting here and this half of the body's gone. So this should be like this right here and this should all be full of wood. And you know, I, the worst word I think in the world is stupid. You know, if somebody calls you stupid, it's a terrible word. And I've always taken great offense to that word because sometimes yeah when I was growing up I felt like sometimes I was a stupid kid I wasn't good in school and it was just a terrible word but you're allowed to call yourself stupid so I'm stupid okay I'm total stupid why am I stupid 
Jordy at Car Infusion is stupid because he's a hypocrite. And he's a hypocrite because he said he was going to do all the back stuff, all the hard stuff in the back first. And well, I know you can't really see it. And well, he didn't. So now I got to carve all this stuff in the back. Here, let me close this door, see if we can get a better view. Okay, so the door is closed here. I just took a thumbnail picture, so this will be the thumbnail of the video. It looks good from here, and that's the way I want it to look, like a front view, right? So I'm not very good at three-dimensional carvings. I'm just learning how to do them. But anyways, so now you can see probably better the back. So I cut it down lower, I shaved it. Still got rotten wood in here, okay? I don't want to shave it down anymore. This wood's not rotten, it's just right here. There's that bolt that I hit yesterday or the other day. I got a new uh, chain, two new chains. It cost me a hundred bucks for two chains. So, anyways, this isn't going to be a full 3D carving. I'm probably just going to do it like uh, 2D. So, if somebody buys it, I'll be like, hey, this is like a front view carving. It's not like a carving to put on a, a freaking rotator and have it rotating around your living room, right? You know, you put it against a tree so the backs, so it's, so it, this is like, uh, so you're looking at it this way, right? That's the bottom line. And I, I, you think I'm going to say when somebody buys it, you're going to think I'm going to say, oh yeah, I made a terrible cut here and I took out all this wood and I shouldn't have taken that out because now it's like half his body sitting on there and the other half's not. I could make this way thinner, but I'm not going to. I was going to look at it and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm happy with it. I love the way it turned out. Looks like, looks fine from here. Sure does. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about in this video that I haven't really... You guys remember I carved, carved this skinny head owl? That's just a carving fusion, skinny head owl. But this is soaking wet pine, remember? I just, they cut down the tree this the day before and I cut it. And I burned it to see if this crack was here. To see if it would crack. I burned it more on the backside to hopefully it will crack. Well, that's all we got so far. It hasn't cracked anywhere else. So I also carved a wood spirit because that's what I'm going to do. Today is what, Saturday? That's what I'm going to do on Monday is start the, the on-site carving of this pine wood. And there's going to be an owl up top. And then there's going to be a wizard, maybe with a hand holding the owl or something. So I did a wood spirit too on the same piece of wood. Okay, so pine wood, same wood. This exact same piece of wood. I did a wood spirit too to see how the wet because I don't have much experience carving pine to see how the wet wood held detail right so this is just like a 45 minute carving for me but I think when I burnt it and then I sanded it the high points it kind of I don't know it kind of looks like it kind of looks like donkey shit it looks like poo kind of but I don't know so I'll be doing this on live, on site carving with this and the owl on Monday and I will be filming. Anyways, whatever. Okay, so uh, one tree down. One more to go. Hello. Why is it not zooming in? Ah. Okay, so I got all, I got both the trees carved and on the back side of the piece, like I said, this isn't really, but I did do some carvings. I kind of brought the tree stumps down lower. Can you see that, how they come down? And this one too. This one's kind of weird, but that's okay. What tree stumps any perfect? So I did use, um, I did get cutting the back in here. I'm gonna have to, cause I can't get my saw blade in here to do it properly. So I'm gonna have to come back with my uh, die grinder, or grinder and clean all this up. It, I'm not going to make the back that perfect, right? But you guys can see what's going on there. Look at the color of this wood. The difference there. So that's the back. So let me get this spun around because I don't think it will show good on camera the front of it. This is all done with chainsaw. So I'm I'm uh, happy with myself. And uh, I thank my pro carver friends Ryan Cook over there at Ryan Cook Carving. Um, Uncle Kevin carving and last Steve Kenzora. So, um, you know, 
just talk to you guys. If you have fret pro chainsaw carver friends, talk to them, pick their brains, ask them questions. You know, some people don't have time for it, but I don't know. I just try and make them find the time. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got so far. All chainsaw so far. I can see this eye is a bit lower. I'm gonna do kind of like a, the eyes Ryan Cook taught me in the center here with my little finger sander. And I'm gonna do the Uncle Kevin uh, spook owl things around the eyes here. I still gotta cut his beak in, do all this stuff, lots more to go. But the more you can get done with the chainsaw, the quicker the carving will go because, well, when you use the little die grinders, things go slower, right? So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I just might leave it natural. I thought about carving a fish right here in his tongue, but I don't think owls hunt fish. But I think I'm going to carve a little mushroom to put in here. But that's going to be it for me today. today. And uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow and maybe, uh, possibly wrap it up. Maybe I'll even go live tomorrow. Uh, it's most drama work, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, hope all you guys are good. And, um, oh yeah. Did I say that I'm going to gift this back to, to Mike that gave me all the wood? Um, hold on a second. If you guys didn't see that video gave me these I got three big six foot cedar logs like this too or is there two no there's three there's one more back there so this is six foot uh, old growth red cedar that was a dock right so he gifted this he didn't charge me nothing he gifted me these um, logs there's three of them so I just think you know this carving I could sell for me I could maybe sell this carving for like a thousand bucks or something but I just think it's good to give back right that's what the channel's about so I think when this is done, I'm going to take it down there. I'm going to surprise and give it back to him and his wife because they're such good people. And like, look at the wood he gave me. And he said, he, this piece here, he's like, Jordy, carve a big owl. I'm like, I'm not carving an owl. He goes, carve a big owl. I'm like, oh boy. So I think it will make a good gift for them. You guys see this um, cabinet I got for my spray paint? Yep. And other stuff. So I got some carving fusion stickers on there. Here's the original. Then this would be the second. And this would be the one BAP designed. Love it, BAP. That's my favorite one. But if anybody's got any stickers they want to send for my new cabinet, send them. I'll put them on there. Hope you're all good. Don't forget about the bear. Look, I carved him some eyes. Yeah, he's got eyes now. And he's got a carving fusion hat too. Okay, I just thought I'd stand here so you guys can see the size of this. Probably like, uh, what, four feet? So that's super wide. Hope you're all doing good and uh, have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, Car Infusion, over and out.